Hello, and thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, in Australia. Today, I'm participating in a vlog hop, which is like a blog hop, but hopping between videos instead of blogs. Our theme for today's hop is casing the catalog. Now, if you don't know what case means, C-A-S-E, there's two different versions of what it could stand for. It's either copy and share everything, which means you take a card and you're going to remake it exactly as it is, or it can stand for copy and selectively edit. So the card that I'm going to be casing today is this one over here on page 20 that uses the Blossoms in Bloom bundle. It also uses the many layered dies and I've got them over here that I've cut out to show you later. There's a few extra little flower dies in there and we're using some of the dies from the Tasteful Labels dies. So in my case, it's going to be copy and selectively edit because I'm changing the color. So let me show you what we're going to do. The color that I'm going to be using is our new in color, Pale Papaya. And to start, I'm taking my piece of cardstock for the front cover. And with my blending brush, I'm going to color the paper. I want it to have that bit of an ombre look. So we want it going light to dark as we go through. These blending brushes are beautiful. So pick up a bit of color and put it onto your paper. You can start off but I'm not doing it too much because I want it a lot darker at the top there. I think I'm happy with that and while I've got my ink out I'm just going to do the other stamping that we've got to do so, this is going to be for the inside of my card because I always like stamping the insides I'm just going to stamp some of these flowers into the corner And some of the little dots into the middle and the other stamping that I need to do is the sentiment I'm using the thinking of you and that's just getting stamped onto a scrap of paper We're going to die cut that a little bit later so I'm not terribly concerned about how straight it is or isn't because that's all going to get sorted out when we cut it. Okay, so let's start assembling the card. So I've got my card base. And I'm going to stick my blended layer on top and while I'm doing this I'm going to stick my insert in as well Now 
thing. I've cut out my blossoms and I've already cut my little layer that goes on top. Now, when I'm doing these intricate dies, I always put some of the adhesive sheet behind. I find that that is much easier. And where you've got the little dots that haven't come out, sometimes if you just stick your fingers in there, it will stick to your fingers. And then you just have to scrape them off your fingers. There are some that just really don't want to come out. They are very happy living in there. If I just take my pick it up tool and push those through, I can get them out and then just grab them fairly easily. So once you've got all of those out, you can just get all the little extra bits that are sticking to your hands off. And then we can line this up and stick it over the blossoms. No, it's going to go that way. And this is the same size, so it does line up pretty easily. Now I'm going to put lots of mini dimensionals on the back so that we can hold it. There are some places here where it's just too fine to put the mini dimensionals, but there's enough places where you've got a wide enough area that you can stick them. And we want the mini dimensionals to support the flowers on the card. Now, I think that the Imperial cards are a little bit wider, but for our metric size cards, this will actually fit on just, so you just need to make sure that you've turned it, that it's fitting square on the card. Sort of, you know, if you've got it at an angle like that, it's going to be going over. Peel off all your backings and we can stick that down. Putting my card aside for a moment, we now need to do our die cutting. For the bigger pieces, I just took some of my soft succulent cardstock and I've just cut a piece along the one edge of this floral die. I'm going to just use some of those leaves and we're just going to cut off the ones that I want. I'm just cutting off that piece and we'll see how much of it I use later. And then bringing in my mini cut and emboss machine. I'm going to cut the banner out of the fresh freezer. And with this die over here, I'm going to cut out my sentiment. It does fit fairly exactly. I want the sentiment towards the bottom. I'm not too concerned about the top because we're actually going to cut that off. Sorry about that, I realise that when I cut, it does shake the table. So hopefully you weren't getting too seasick, but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with this, which is why I bought the cut and emboss machine in. So with either of these dies, they've got that same edging, so it doesn't matter which one you use. I'm going to cut this shorter. Put that down at the length 
that you want your your sentiment to be and we're going to run it through the mini cut and emboss machine again and that piece has come off so I've now created a slightly different shape to the die that I'd originally started with and I've got it exactly as I want it. So I'm going to take my leaves and stick it just behind the sentiment. poking out there and then this leaf I'm going to have out there And I've cut a flower out of the new shimmer vellum. So I hope that you can see that the so shimmer vellum is beautiful and it has a lovely sparkle. That can just go over the top over there. And then I'm going to stick my little banner, making sure that it's the right way up behind and that can all stick onto my card Final touch, I'm going to take one of my bumblebee trinkets and with a glue dot, I'm going to stick it onto the middle of my flower. Now the other thing that I decided would be really nice, and here's why I did the ombre background, is if you take one of the ombre bags, you can put the same die cut on top of it and your little gift could go inside and you've got it together with a matching card. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel all the links are below so you can pop over to the next video and see what the next person has cased. We'll see you next time. Bye.